I'm going to show you sort of how to replace a headliner in a Firebird, in this case a hardtop Firebird. The, if you have a T-top car, it's going to be very similar. I'm only going to show you half of it because there's actually no headliner in this car. This one I picked up out of a donor car. So we're going to put this one in, but you know, like you kind of go the opposite direction, taking it back out. So you'll get the picture just by the putting it in and how to get it out. Be careful with it, especially if you're going to recover it. I didn't have one to recover, so not an issue here. But if you're going to try to, like if the fabric's peeling and you want to put new fabric on it, careful getting it out because it is kind of flimsy and fragile. It's made of like a paperish fiber material, like compressed paper. So it breaks really easily, like it rips, like the backing rips. You can get new ones and the new ones are made out of like a plastic fiberglass. They don't, from what I understand, they don't fit as good. They're a little noisy. That's probably why this is, you know, why they're made this way is they're softer. And so they don't rattle as much. I don't know anything about them. That's just what I hear. But since I was able to get an original one, um, I'm going to go with that. And it generally pretty closely matches the gray. It's not perfect, but it's pretty close. And it's above your head. So, you know, as long as you have something up there that's not crazy it's probably fine. You can kind of see by looking at it where its connection points are. So these are the seat belt holes. This is the rear. This is the front. So the seat belts, the rear seat belt shoulder harnesses go through here. This is where your dome light is. And this is where the visors go. And it's held up pretty much by the visors, some Velcro on the back, and all of the trim pieces. So the side, the A pillars here, that, that part that comes up across the top of the door comes across the top of this and holds that. There's the rear trim piece that comes up on the rear seat that holds up here. And you can kind of maybe see on this one, you can see the lines where it was pinched by the trim in that other car. The visors will screw through this hole and those visor brackets will hold it up front and the dome light holds it in the back. That's pretty much it. They're not terribly complicated. So the hardest part is getting them actually in and out without breaking them. Let's head inside the car. First thing I'm gonna do is uh, try to squeeze my big butt in the back seat here and get that dome light down. It's just held up by Phillips head screws. Can you tint the dome light? So just so I don't break anything, there's a little clip on the back. I'm going to pull that clip out. So I can take the dome light all the way out. We'll set it up there for now. I'll pull these panels down. On the panels, well, this car's missing them. But there's supposed to be a uh, coat hook. And that coat hook has a little pin on the inside. You just pop that pin out with a screwdriver, like a little clip on it. And it then pops loose from the from the wall weirdly in my case i'm missing those so i'll have to find some somewhere so we'll come in here we'll slide up over top of these panels so in this case i just pull them loose come on dude you know you want it there you go so you don't have to pull them all the way out you just got to pull them down enough that you can get up in there and then it'll wrap around these seat belt brackets here Ugh. I'm just gotta be careful, they'll pop off without breaking, thankfully. I think, <coughs> ouch. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. It's okay, it's all good, it's all good. Whew. So they just gotta wrap around the seatbelt itself. I can't get out. These cars were not built for big rhinos to get in the back seat. How does anybody get out of here that's older than the age of three? Oh, well, that was fun. I think I just pulled a muscle in my hip trying to get it out of here. Now, when I got this one out of the other car, I had to go in sideways or come out. I had to turn it sideways and come out. Let's put you on the other side. And then this is the back. So that's got to go in first. And make sure you go in upside down, fabric side down. And it's 
skinnier than it is short, so it's easier to get to the doorway sideways. And just be gentle. Once you get in, move that seat, then we can turn 90 degrees. I try to crawl back in here again. Pull this trim down and feed it in. Just for now. Okay. There we go. Now the Velcro is up here in the middle. I don't know how good the Velcro is in my car. Oh, oh, oh. No, not very good because I just want to stick. Line up up here where your holes are. Yeah, the Velcro isn't strong enough to hold it up there on its own. This would be easier with two people. That is for certain. So I'm gonna let that sag in front sit on the seats. Let's get this. Let's get the Velcro right back in. Plug her in. And then it's hard to see where the screws go because. There's no alignment visibility. Okay, that whole hit. I just did that one. How about that? So now the dome light's in, that holds that back end up. We'll fix this trim piece here in a little bit. Shore that up. Let's get the front end connected with uh, the visors. So where are those at? Over here somewhere. Now, same deal. There's holes already in here. So you just gotta find and line them up. The trick is how to find the screw holes. It's rather difficult. It's hard to see anything up there. Oh. Let's look at that right there. There they are. At least that's where one is. Here. So this is gonna this is too far forward. It's gotta go back a little bit, but it won't go back anymore now because I've stuffed it against the the uh, dome light. So let me loosen the dome light a little bit. Headlamp, that would be easier. What is happening here? Okay, <laughs> this is the driver's side one. All right, let's take, let's take it back down. You gotta laugh at this stuff, otherwise you would totally cry. Let's move the mirror so it holds it up. No, it's gotta be the passenger side because the wording is from left to right. So I did have it right. I just did it wrong. I had this rotated this way. So, which makes sense now that I'm looking at it. You can see how it's at kind of an angle. Makes so much more sense now. So pay attention to the direction you're pointing on, because it matters. Oh, mercy. Okay, I can just try to find these all over again. Hey, hey, hey. got that one on the first try. How about this one? Any luck on that one? It's amazing how well this works when you do it right. Well, now we'll see. We can't see anything. Or not one. Oh man. Got that one on the first try. Maybe it's gonna be a good day after all. I probably shouldn't have said that. No, I've ruined it. All 
There we go. So let me show you what I mean on these. So obviously this is the driver's side. This is on the left, but lettering goes left to right. This has to be angled. See how this has got a taper to it? So you want this to be angled where it pushes this down. It's got to go like that, where the taper goes up towards the, up into the frame of the roof. And that pushes this down, or at least keeps it level, so that it won't hit as it clears. And I'm going to find a hole. Oh, well that. <laughs> First try on all three. What? What? I'm gonna play lottery today. Okay. Visors are in. Headliners in. So then we just put our trim back. So this trim piece here has to go back around the body frame, the body, the pinch weld here inside the weather stripping. And then this clips back up there. And then we'll put our uh, A-pillar door, door, door frame trim, easy for me to say, back up. Easy peasy. <laughs> that was harder than I thought it was going to be. I'll admit, I've done that before. The visors were probably the hardest part. If you have a T-top car, it's actually a little easier. There's still the dome line in the back, there's still the seat barrier seat belts, you still got the visors in the front. The Velcro pieces run in the middle between the T-tops. So you just pull the tops out and then it makes it a lot easier. So not it difficult, difficult, not complex, but you know, kind of hard to do. Uh, the yeah, hardest part is finding the screw holes for the visors and uh, getting them lined up right but you know uh and contorting your body to be able to do it hopefully if you're a little smaller than me you can get in and out of these cars a little easier and you don't have the same problem i have with size so now if you have one that needs to be refinished you can take it out you peel the fabric off you can put new fabric on i have an extra headliner and i thought about doing it just for demonstration because i the fabric's not that expensive and I still might do that. Peel that fabric off you glue new fabric down let it dry put the new headliner back in getting it out is just like I put it in, just do it backwards. Visors off, dome line off, pull the trim pieces away, and the headliner just basically falls right down. Turn it 90 degrees and slide it out the door. So that was the headliner. Next is the dash pad. What else we got? Oh, clean the windows. We gotta clean the tint off the windows. It's all peeling and the glue's stuck behind. It looks terrible. Got a few more things to do before we button this up. But generally, it's pretty good to go. Like if we had to be done now, it could be done. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you guys. And uh, we'll see you real soon.